icing. It was touched on the way through. And Evangelisti will hold. Evangelisti back to Wyatt, now putting some pressure of their own on other Flyers. The Islanders Hockey Club controls the first three. The Flyers control the next. And there's a deflection try. Score! This time it is good, folks. And it's Tyler Wyatt. It ain't quiet when it's scored by Wyatt, folks. It's Tyler Wyatt. The deflection try there, creating a chance once again. Nick Sear making his presence felt down on the ice. Not only a goal scorer from last weekend, but a big hitter here today. Here's a shot on net save by Joe Young. He can't find it. It's in the paraphernalia. And loose behind net. Tapped in. Goal. It wasn't whistled dead. It was a live puck. And getting in for the score is IHC. That ties it back up. Oh, we're in for a great weekend, folks. Yeah, it looked like that one snuck by Joe. And uh, his defensemen were there to try to pull it back under him. But apparently the ref seen it and it crossed the line. So... Here comes a play here by Hayes. Hayes on the shot, score! And it's Lloyd Hayes, we said. Avoid Lloyd. And there he is again. That's his fourth goal in three USPHL playoff games. Pass. No one able to get the other end. And there's a shot off a turnover. Score! And IHC takes a two-goal lead. The shot, rebound, try, goal! Connor Mike on the mic. The man that says he never scores. Scores and it's Connor Mike, the defenseman, on a rebound try goal. And just three minutes in, each team has scored, and it's three to two. I don't have a problem with that call one bit. Uh, two minutes is fine. I thought it might be a, have a chance to be a five, but two minutes is fine. It's a playoff. Here's a shot, score, a power play goal. Badgering the witness, no. Badgering the goaltender, yes. And it's Ryan Badger with the score off the power play. Just two seconds into a power play chance. And this game just keeps getting better and better, folks. He cannot. And it's bounced out the center ice for Horacek to play. Horacek shovels back on. It's caught by Will Massey. Massey keeps it alive and gives on behind his net. It'll be advanced back forward here by IHC. On to puck number 11 to 4 to 4. Turns it over. Shot. Score! Do you hear a Greco? Echo, Echo, that's the Flyers scoring twice. And it's Ron Greco on this one. Number 17 puts that one home. Turnover force. The turnover by DeFore. The unassisted goal by Ron Greco. Lines with it now. He skates on. Throw it in front. Shot. Score! Not the student. The Burmaster. It's Greg with two Gs, Burmaster who puts one G in the back of the net, and the Flyers lead 5-3. to three. There's a shot, score, and IHC's firing back as Brendan Van Riemsdyk notches it in. A soft little pass. Van Riemsdyk comes away with it. Van Riemsdyk shot high. Rebound try, the puck's still loose. Down on top of it. Rebound try again, does it go? Another shot, does it go? Down in the ice is Joe Young. The puck's loose here again. Three straight shots, a fourth score! And the game is tied up at five. A power play goal with 2-10 remaining in the third. In front, will he give it to him? Now he does shot by break, does it go? What a save by Messi to stone him in front of the net. This, I expected a great game, but not one this good. Here's Daigle off the face off with a wrister. Deflected rebound, try, does it go? How did it not go? Joe Young was split down. He was beat. He was surely tested, but missing it high on the shot was Lloyd Hayes. Looks like Joe Young assumed the, the position of the letter X. He kind of sprawled both arms out, both legs out, and somehow comes up with that save. Johnny Evangelisti tries to take it away. He cannot. A good chance here for IHC. Shot. Young couldn't find it. Puck's still loose in front. Another try. Saved by Joe Young. Rebound try. Stopped by a body. The puck's still loose. It's out to Olsen. He gets all shot by the four. Saved by Joe Young. What a save. Another shot's blocked by the skate of Nick Sear. The puck's still loose. The carnage isn't over. Trying to play it there as IHC. They'll have it. Thrown in front. Sticked away. A chance. Young falls out of his net. He's loose in front of his own net here. Puck given on in front. Owens with a shot blocked off a of body of Nick Sear. And back and forth we go. Correction on that on that shot. That was Connor Mike on all fours in front of the net. Took that one off the chest. He cannot. So Weisbeck has it and it's hit hard underneath us. You didn't see it, but it was a huge hit. There's a shot. Goal save made. Oh, what a split save by Joe Young. Oh, Joe, what do you know? Mighty Joe Young stays mighty in net. Absolutely unbelievable. Joe Young makes a left-handed save that 
You might not see any better anywhere else. I don't care what league. Evangelist, he has it now. He holds. He holds and gives the Seer. Seer gives on to Greco. Greco looks for help. Greco throwing a Badger shot. Score! And it's all over. That's all she wrote. Your Flyers win 6-5 to five in overtime and take game one on a power play goal. Badgering the witness, no! Badgering the goaltender, yes! Jared, I had asked Connor the same question. Last weekend, tight, low scoring games. Tonight, it was kind of tight, but there were a lot of goals put up on the board. What is the main difference that you see between playing Bay State last weekend and the Islanders Hockey Club this weekend? Uh, they're, I mean, they're completely different teams. This uh, this Islander team's got a lot of size up front. They, you know, they play with quite a bit of jam, and I thought we matched that well tonight. And you know, we, uh, you know, we matched the physical play, and that was kind of our goal. Uh, but yeah, it was a uh, little, little wide open. A lot of scoring chances both ways. I thought both goalies, uh, you know, even though they both let in several goals, was it was it was a good performance by by each of them. And uh, you know, our guys, you know, we got a fortuitous uh, bounce there at the end, and uh, that was the difference. <laughs> We're about to start game two. A win for the Flyers ends it here. A win for Islanders HC brings us back tomorrow for another epic clash. Come out with the mentality of put some shots on Joe Young early. And there's a shot score. We talked about shots early, and IHC takes the lead just as Kyle says it. Face off his head. There's a shot score! Ron Greco with the score. Do you hear a Greco? Echo, Echo, it's Ron Greco for the third time in two games. Notching one home, Arister off a face-off win. By Pip and Weisbeck to take it away. Hannon with a shot save, rebound try, score! And Patrick Hannon, a guy I told you to watch out for all weekend as a goal-scoring threat, puts it in a rebound try, shot first, it was saved. Rebound try, he notched home, has to carry on, he can't and he'll hold there, and it's deflected out of play. Diving play, out of the box, here's Hatcher. He has a breakaway chance on the penalty kill shot. Score! Open up the Hatcher! It's Chase Hatcher coming out of the box after a penalty kill for the Flyers, and he puts one in on a breakaway score! And we're tied back up at two, and these games are incredible, Kyle! Stolen right back by IHC. Robbins with a breakaway chance. Robbins with a shot high, doesn't go. Oh, a great chance on net. Joe Young came out high to test him, and Robbins misses it high into the right. Here in the third period of play, 2-2 two to two to score, all tied up. Gooch has it now. Gooch with a centering pass shot. Score! Brian Owen! Brian Owen's your one, folks. Trevor Gooch on the assist. And the Flyers take the lead back 3-2. 6-0-6 remaining. And it's Brian Owen with an even strength score. Notching one home past Anthony Tirabasi. The Flyers make one last change. 20 seconds left. Can it happen? Can the Flyers make their dream come true of this season? Earlier this year, they talked about wanting to win it all. This one's thrown on the ice. Burmaster's racing for it with eight seconds left. No icing called. Seven seconds left. Thrown in front. Does it go? Three, two, shot on net. No. And your Flyers are going to the championship. Three to two. The Flyers win. Your Flyers are victorious. And in their second year of existence, the Flyers are going to the finals, folks. Oh, of all the improbable things, it's your Flyers, the three seed. Heading on to take on the winner of the Hitmen and Kings for the title, the USPHL Cup, the Deneen Cup, and the quest continues, Kyle. We're here with the music music blasting during a post-game celebration. Ron Greco, the star of the game today. Ron, how's it feel to be going to the Deneen Cup? Uh, it's awesome. Real excited. Uh, get a good two days into practice and uh, go win the Deneen Cup. We got Chase Hatcher battling them now. We're going to go talk to Chase later. But Ron, you're the story right now. Last night, what created that chance to put that dime pass to Ryan Badger to win the first game in this series in overtime? You know, we had a five on three and uh, I was looking up ice, saw the defender wasn't looking and just lays it at back door and Ryan buried. 
Ron, does it matter who you play in the next round? Or are you guys ready for anyone? We're ready for anybody. We're ready to go. Thank you, Ron. Congrats. Yeah, We're here with a guy who dwarfs me in size, makes me look short. He's still wearing his skates, though, so don't call me out on that. How's it feel to be going to the Dean Cup? Uh, feels great. I mean, I haven't been here long, but I've, uh, I've bonded with the team pretty good, and uh, we're all really excited. Now, coming out of the penalty there, you came off for Bryce Everson creating a chance. How did it feel when you got the puck and you were loose? Did you know you were putting it in the back of the net? Well, with about seven seconds left, I was jumping up and down on the bench yelling, <laughs> breakaway city. Uh, what, what actually happened, uh, you know what, I kind of just uh, had a move in my head and I stuck with it. I love it. Chase? You worried about anyone you got to take on in the next round? Are you guys ready for anyone? No, we're ready for anyone. Congrats. Thank you. Joe, you're going to the Dineen Cup. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great, but the work's not done yet. Uh, obviously, we need, a, uh, we, need a, we need two more wins. So that's what we, you know, at the beginning of the year, our goal was to win the championship, and we haven't done that yet. So that's uh, next stop, you know? Joe, five goals scored on you yesterday, only two <coughs> today in just a slobber knocker of a battle here at the Berkeley Center Flyer State Zone. How do you explain getting better with the team? Um, maybe it's just adrenaline or, you know, just being amped, trying to do the best for my team. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It just Sometimes it just happens. It just works in your favor. But, uh, you know, I think both teams were pretty tired today. You know, uh, it was a, maybe a little bit of a slower game just because, you know, the five periods of hockey yesterday. So, I mean, for me, it was, you know, not too bad. Joe, we know the history with us Flyers and the Islanders Hockey Club last year. Three, all three games, all one goal games. This year, two games, all one goal games. But the fact that they knocked you guys out last year, how great does it feel to knock them out? And not only just knock them out, you guys are now on your way to play for the cup. Well, yeah, it's good to be on the winning side of a one goal game every time, as it was this time. But uh, no, it was good. You know, we, uh, you know, the whole week we were really prepared for this team. You know, we really didn't want to lose to this team again because obviously last year, and we definitely had that in the back of our minds. We wanted to make sure that we. Uh, you know, a little bit of payback, you know. Remaining. Who will be the hero today? Down to Badger. Badger with a thrown in front shot. Score! Carried in now by the Flyers. Oh, and shot high. Score! Brian